inside the Star Municipal in Toulouse this evening. Not too many Nigerian supporters in evidence. And already Paraguay concede a free kick. The foul goes against a rather disbelieving Miguel Benitez. I think the, uh, when the linesman put his flag up, the referee thought it was offside and then he realised that was for an infringement. So there it is, a free kick in a very dangerous position. Indeed, he's gone in Paraguay's favour. Benitez at first couldn't believe that the referee had pointed in the opposite direction. An interesting lineup in the centre. Paraguayan players all in a cluster, waiting to break free. Little hand signal comes in from Arce as well. He's the free kick specialist. Useful one! And a goal already from Celso Ayala! Well, Paraguay have done in 50 seconds what they failed to do in two matches. They need to win tonight. They needed to come out all guns blazing. You couldn't wish for a better start. Well, Ayala is a very, very powerful man, as we've seen at the back. We were talking about him earlier, how good he is in defence. But just look at how he attacks the ball here. Really powerful, strong. Nobody was going to stop him. This is a superb header. He really does get up high and heads that into the back of the net. And that's a fantastic and absolutely the most perfect start for Paraguay. Look at the joy in those faces. Perfect delivery on the free kick from Francisco Arce as well. He missed their opening game against Bulgaria. A goalless draw with injury. He returned to good effect against Spain, but was involved in a very defensive capacity in that This is more like the game that we've become accustomed to seeing Paraguay play. Well, it's certainly a great start. It means that Nigeria have now got to attack. And uh, <laughs> they've actually caught them cold, Paraguay. Virtually their first attack, first free kick and uh, they put themselves 1-0 up and to be fair to them they're actually playing three up front at the moment guy which i haven't seen them do before they're trying to win the game early it seems and cardoso might be the beneficiary of shilabar's clearance it was terrible west covering well if word gets onto the field about the score in lons paraguay will know that it's important to keep their lead because spain already have the lead against bulgaria remember you can see that game a little later on on eurosport Spain won, Bulgaria nil. Yet another Mexican wave. It's had a rebirth in France. I think we've seen one at just about every game. Olise oh, winds himself up and he'll get the corner for his trouble. I think that was a spectacular shot from their guy, but uh, he's managed to win a corner kick and this is the first real threat of danger to the Paraguayan goal and you can see Shailavard straight away is getting his defenders organized. Okafor, Elise, the Ajax man with some nifty footwork, Babangida now, well he's got pace and he uses it, it's a good looking cross and at the back to tidy up was Paredes for Emilitinovic, the Nigerian coach. Looks on, unflustered, he's a cool customer. We saw him wandering around, having words with supporters before kickoff. Nothing much gets him to lose his cool. And a great chance for Augustine! Oh. And it's straight down into the ground, it proved to be his undoing. What a comfortable goal line clearance in the end. And down with an injury in the centre circle is Hugo Brizuela. I think it was an accidental clip, but he certainly felt the brunt of it. Right down the back of the ankle. Well, there's the incident again, and you're right, he's headed it straight down into the ground, and that enabled him to clear it off the line. It took the pace right off the ball, guy. But a great opportunity for Nigeria. Babangida. Kanu. In towards Elise. Elise looks to be pulling the strings for Nigeria this evening. It's a great ball to Babangida. Goes down. Good advantage played. And a crisp, crisp finish from Ben Iroa, who was supporting. Or well, Wilson Aruba getting up there. In fact, it's the 18, not the 19, who puts the ball in. And it was an excellent slot into the corner. And some good refereeing. Great referee and guy, but what a fantastic ball from Elise that split the centre half in the full back. Then a clever little ball across the, the face of the box, and here it is here. Super ball, 
And I think he might even have given a penalty kick for this one, but uh, he's allowed the advantage to go on, and then that's a great goal from Aruma. That's a lovely finish he gave Schillerman no chance, just lifted it over the diving goalkeeper's body. Nearly got a hand to it, to be fair. He was trying to anticipate that it was going into the far corner of the net, and uh, he anticipated wrong. Well, any suggestion that Nigeria aren't going to give this their all has been well and truly blown out of the water. Nigeria won, Paraguay won. What a great start to the game. And here's Tijani Babangida off on another amazing run. Olise almost wound up a right foot. Oh, another left oh. foot. Shiva was at full stretch. The confidence that Nigeria have played with in both their games so far is coming out to the full tonight. Well, that's a magnificent strike with his left foot from Alisa, and that's a tremendous save from Gillivert. That one was getting in the top corner, Guy, and he's at full stretch to push it around the post, and Alisa can't believe he's actually saved that one. Well, we've seen more entertainment in 12 minutes than we've seen in either of Paraguay's previous games in full. Another great chance, Terry Bullis! And Schillerbert did well again, and the Paraguay goalkeeper, as well he might, is trying to get the defence back in June. Well, that's another tremendous save, one-handed save down to the right, great header from Taribo West. And there it is, the one-handed save, pushes it round the post. This time, he's out quickly to palm the ball away to Babangida. Half away, Elise back in. Shoot on sight is Sunday Elise's motto tonight. Benitez, Brazil appealing away. Benitez wanted to go for goal himself. But the Espanyol striker just ran into one Nigerian shirt too many. Now Kanu. Marvellously open game we've got him to lose. Yakini. Oruma spreads it towards Babangide. Benitez tangling with Okafor. And now Babangida, he started the game very well, the Ajax wide man. He's been drafted into this game as replacement for Fenidi George. Fenidi George rested. He looked a little tired in Nigeria's first two games. Babangida was bought by Ajax to replace Fenidi George, who was on his way to Real Betis. Now he replaces him in the national side, and at the moment, Jerry, to good effect. I'll tell you what, he's been very impressive, as, as all of them have been. I think... Uh, Obviously the rest has, has been good for the players that haven't played and uh, they've been encouraged by the performances of their compatriots so uh, they're looking to emulate the previous two results. Iroa in towards Yakini. Comfortable block for Carlos Gamara. And finally he will get it away despite the... If we believe the reports, the subject of a £5 million inquiry from Liverpool towards his Italian club Inter Milan and here's now Carno also of Inter runs into Gamara spread by Oruma now Lawal in towards Yakini great chance oh. and again Schiller well what a game the captain's having well, Guy, if Paraguay go through to the next stages, they've got this man to thank because that's three tremendous saves in, what, 12 minutes, 15 minutes? Spread himself tremendously well. I would have expected Yakini to maybe tuck it into one of the corners, but uh, he's been big and strong. He's come out and spread himself and made the save. Well done to Gilever. Asked about uh, being under pressure going into the game. I'll tell you about that in a moment because there's a great chance and Cardozo is denied by the offside flag. Paraguay's players spot it late. But Cardozo was through and the flag was quickly raised. Oh, I actually thought he was offside as you can see just coming in now. And, well, it's just and there he is, he's a half a yard offside. Wouldn't mind another look at that one. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know that yet though, do they? The coach, Paolo Cesar Carpegiani, his expression tells it all. This is strong. He doesn't mess about, Taribo West. He's uh, a committed, full-blooded defender. And he'll be difficult for Paraguay to beat for the rest of this game.